So we're back at the Tiff Bell Lightbox to talk about the upcoming schedule. We had such a good time the last time. And what a year it is this year. I mean, what a season. It's it's an incredible Crazy. lineup of yeah. movies. I'm Matt, he's Matt. We are the Mammal Podcast. And yeah, we're gonna look at the winter season at Tiff. Let's start with retrospectives. Now there's a few going on. There's a Nicholas Ray retrospective, Robert Bresson retrospective, there's a John Grayson retrospective. And what I like about retrospectives is it's an opportunity for me to visit filmmakers that I'm aware of, but I don't have a lot of experience with. The one I'm picking this year is Bresson. I've seen one of his films, Mouchette. I really like that movie and it's playing here this season, but I want to catch up on Pickpocket. I yeah. want to see Lancelot du Lac. Yeah. I want to see Ohazard Balthazar, which I wanted to see for years. Those are all playing. Here is what Robert Bresson is exceptionally good at making Martin Scorsese like him more than anyone else. You are right to pick him. Um, I saw Pickpocket, it's spectacular as well. Uh, for me, I am excited because we're getting part two of the Nicholas Ray retrospective. Right, yeah. Part two where all the goodies lie. I think uh, that's a filmmaker that's seen a lot of uh, retrospectives, but this is almost like a second shot at it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very excited about The Savage Innocence. I'm very excited about The Lusty Men, which I don't think has ever been shown. Well, it's also never been not true for you. I, well, hey. I'm very excited about seeing Flying Leathernecks on the big screen because that is the quintessential John Wayne War film, so yeah. Yeah, I've never seen that one either. So it's a great opportunity to fill in those gaps for me as well. Yeah, one thing that's great about this building and, and TIFF in particular is that they continue to program films that younger and younger people can come to see and they can catch that bug and be inspired about movies. Mm -hmm. So the biggest deal right now is the retrospective on Studio Ghibli, Spirited Away. Which is a time to coincide with the release of the new one, The Secret World of Arietti. Absolutely, and also a chance to go back and take your kids to see Howl's Moving Castle if they haven't seen it, or Princess Mononoke if they were too young for that. There's so many great films, and what's really great is we're getting deep catalog stuff like My Neighbors the Amadas and a bunch of other films that actually the, the best known directors aren't the only ones represented. In addition, What's really great is they're pairing it up with a bunch of family classics all about animals. Oh, really? Yeah, absolutely. So, Fantastic Mr. Fox. One of the uh, greatest films of all time. Black Stallion on the big screen. Also one of the greatest films of all time. Absolutely. Stuart Little, Babe Pig in the City. This is a very, very good program to take some kids to um, and uh, start them off on the right foot. What I like about this season is that they really seem to have grabbed hold of fun. And one of the best examples is Todd Brown's series, uh, Attack the Block, I mean, I don't know, I, I have no experience with any of the movies in this catalog because it's all weird science fiction stuff from Russia, from the Cold War. Now, Solaris, the Tarkovsky film, is leading off the program. That's the only one where the title I even recognize it. But yeah. I am going to see I Killed Einstein, gentlemen, the time-traveling, let's assassinate Albert Einstein movie. I'm going to see Stalker. I'm going to see this two-part film called Moscow Cassiopeia, Adolescence in the Universe, just because it's a bunch of teenagers doing wacky science fiction stuff in space. I almost feel like at a certain point, some of these programs, it's like they look around and go, is no one watching? Is anyone looking? Because <laughs> we're putting some movies in and yeah. we don't, okay, look over there. So another thing that, uh, you know, I think they snuck into the building mm -hmm. and I'm really glad they did. The first retrospective on a Coppola is going to be about Nicolas, Nicolas Cage. Cage. It's Nicolas the greatest Cage. thing. It is the greatest thing they've ever yeah. done. You forget got... Francis, forget Sophia. No, of course not. It's almost as though his career has evolved again. Now he's this ultra crazy, completely hit or miss actor. Yeah, and people have developed a wild new cult following around. Like I've always been a Nick Cage fan. I've never, I've never seen a bad Nick Cage performance, as far as I'm concerned. Um, certainly not an uncommitted. No, Nick Cage performance. Not. I just to see The Rock and Con Air in this prestigious building. I can very, very excited. I could not, and this is going to sound crazy. I couldn't be more excited to see the Wicker Man, not the good Wicker Man. No, 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 the bees, the, the bees. bees Wicker the Man. The bees Wicker Man. Which, by the way, the bees scene isn't in. It's a deleted scene. I still can't wait to see yeah. the movie on the yeah. big screen at the yeah. Death Bell Light Box. Come on, come on, Vampire's Kiss, Raising yep. Arizona. Fantastic. This is all at midnight. Yeah, this is a solid, great stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. Okay, so lightning round, the stuff we haven't mentioned in anything else. New releases, we've got The Innkeepers, Ty West's great haunted hotel movie that played at After Dark earlier this year. Yeah. Um, we've got uh, one of the movies, Spirit of the Beehive, which is an old movie from like the 70s. Victor Iris. Fantastic yes. movie, glad to see that on the big Part screen. of the Con retrospective as well, 50 yeah. years of Con. Absolutely. Uh, fantastic guests. Gary Huswit, coming this week, I believe, uh, to show his three design yeah. films. George R. R. Martin, the author of Game of Thrones, is doing a conversation That's right. in March. 
which I've got to read enough of Game of Thrones before then to not be spoiled on whatever it is he talks about. <laughs> Juliette Lewis. Juliette Lewis. Yeah. Very attractive young lady and good singer. Um, some really great film historians and scholars coming to introduce great films. And then on top of that, Sugar Hill Gang. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sugar Hill Gang and in the, the building. And the premiere of Tim and Eric's Billion Dollar Movie is here. The world awesome. premiere? Yeah. Well, no, I don't think it's the world no. premiere. No. The Toronto the Canadian yes. premiere. The premiere. Maybe they'll come too. Maybe they will. Maybe they should. As always, if you're within a thousand miles of this joint, come down, check it out. Uh, all the information can be found at tiff.net. And we can be found at mamo.ca. I'm Matt, he's Matt, this is the Tiff Bell Lightbox, and we'll see you in another couple of months.